This is the December Petite Palette Full Packs box. You might notice that it's a lot smaller than some of the ones that I've opened previously. This brand actually has three separate tiers for subscription boxes. And this is their lower adult tier. And I'll have a link in the description if you want to check out their website. But we're going to open it up and find out what's inside. <laughs> Look at that. I got this late. I think I got it a couple days after Christmas. So I'm just now opening it. If I had opened this up before Christmas, I would have been like festive, woo! But now it just kind of feels like the holidays threw up. <laughs> I know I love the confetti. I make fun of it all the time, but I love it. This is a water brush. So ooh, are we gonna have watercolors? It looks like that. These are all basically the same. I've never had one that was bad and I've never had one that was like amazing either. Unscrews there and then you fill that section with water. Also in here, there is a sun yellow. Oh, I've used these before. These are the Derwent Intense watercolor. And this one is in the color sun yellow. This is, oh, another pit artist pen. I feel like um, Palletful always includes a pit artist pen. I think the, uh, I think they have a favorite art supply. This is a medium sized bullet nib one. Ooh, what is this? These pastels, open these. Those look messy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, on the menu, it says these are these are the Karen Diace Neo Color Water Soluble Wax Oil Pastels. What's this? Oh, another DeWent Ink Tense Pencil. This time in the color Field Green. Get it right next to the other one. I believe this box is like $23.95 a month of, and free shipping in the US. Oh, this is a little sketchbook. The Pentallic Dreamcatcher Accordion Fold Artist Journal. Okay, get this open. It's watercolor paper. So it's 140 pounds, 300 GSM, cold press, acid free, whoop, an accordion sketchbook. Okay, this is the coolest thing. It makes me think of like a treasure map. Let me see if I can zoom out. Just look at the width of this. I can't even fit it on camera. <laughs> so I guess you could do either individual drawings like that and use it like a sketchbook, or you could try to draw one super long drawing like this. Or you could do it back, oh, I see. So you do it this way and you have pages and you can flip it over and you can have pages. Or you could do one super long drawing. That's really nifty. I would never even have thought to make a sketchbook like that. <laughs> That's perfect for painting panoramic scenes and uninterrupted creation. So if you were drawing something like this and you're like, ooh, I'm just gonna keep drawing. It's like the, uh, in Super Smash Brothers, that like portrait in classic mode. Woot. <laughs> that would take a long time. So the theme for this month is water soluble drawing media. So they included the watercolor sketchbook and then a bunch of water soluble art supplies. I'm gonna go fill this with water and we'll come back and we'll start uh, creating something. So I'm just gonna open it up to the first page and then maybe when we draw something, we'll use this side. I kinda really wanna draw something panoramic, but I don't really have any ideas yet. So hopefully by testing these art supplies, I'll get a better idea. Try these out and try it on dry. And then we'll go over with the water and see what we can do with these. All right, so that's what those look like without water. Now we can take the water brush and we'll see what happens here. Since I accidentally put way too much water on that, we're gonna see how the paper reacts to large amounts of water. This paper is super thick, by the way. So I'm hoping it's gonna handle pretty well. I'm not a huge fan of like the crayon texture before you add water. What I do wanna try and see if I can make a purple using red and blue. If I like draw like a red dot and put a blue dot over top. Well, we're getting a different color, but where the pencil still is, it's not really blending as well as with the water. It doesn't lift up the pastel completely, so it's still got an annoying dot there, but the colors look cool. So I wonder if there's a way to mix that before adding it to your drawing. All right, and then we need to try the Derwent Ink Tense. Look at that yellow. Oh, I mean, compared to the oil pastel, that's just, screams yellow and honestly if i use a lot of green yellows and browns i feel like i could make a pretty cool map i mean it's a really small little guy but i feel like that's super easy to like stick in your purse or something and take with you like it's probably the size of like to go you know watercolor palette and then you can have those two together i think that's a really good combo they didn't include one of those but i think that'd be cool my idea would be to use this tan color as a backdrop because I need to decide if I want to do go like the Lord of the Rings route <laughs> of a map, which would probably be more this color, or if I want to go like a classic sort of map. And then I need to decide if I want to do anything else with that, <laughs> or if I just want to draw a boring map. 
So I'm not loving the pastels because it leaves like that crayon texture and I can't seem to like, get rid of it. And I don't really want to add a whole lot more water because this is already pretty wet. I wonder if you just dipped one of these things in water. Ooh, that blends out a bit better if you actually get the pastel wet first. Yeah, it just looks like dirty paper at this point. Ooh, look at that line. Now, should I make these even? Should I get a ruler out or just wing it? Officially wong. There we go. You know, they always draw like waves. It's looking pretty lame. <laughs> so, after spending some time on this little map doodle, I, I think it gave me the confidence to say this is not really what I want to do for today's video. But I think it turned out kind of cute. It's kind of funny. I still want to take advantage of like the panoramic pages. Just not entirely sure how I want to go about that yet. So, the cool thing about this is we could turn the page and we could still see our funny little map. <laughs> we could start drawing here. Something else I learned while playing with these is that they're really difficult to use. At least in a way that I'm trying to like force them to work. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to go about these. I made a star! Reading rainbow! <laughs> okay, I just came up with an idea, but I'm gonna need my actual watercolors. It's gonna be a cheat, but I think the art's gonna turn out pretty cool, so I think it's a fair trade. Like, I won't be using just palpable packs stuff. I'm gonna use this guy instead. <laughs> this actually came in a scroller box, but it's the same brand and type of ink as these pencils, so... It's okay. Okay, so then my idea is on this first page, I'm going to use only one color of watercolor, and then hopefully when you open it up, there'll be a rainbow. And I'll try and use these as much as possible too. So I'm going to start with green, is my idea. Start with a tree. Ooh, what if the tree cuts across into this area? Well, it should probably mostly be inside the green one. You can have a little cutting into maybe the yellow block. And we'll have some leaves that have fallen down on this side since it's going to be more yellow. Maybe a snake? Snakes are green, right? Not loving that idea. What about a little person drawing the tree? Like me. <laughs> oh, maybe there's a little bird. She's drawing the bird. There you go. That looks good for the first one. And we can start coloring that in. I changed my mind. <laughs> Okay, I messed up the legs, but no one will notice. Okay, keep everything simple and cohesive and try to stick within like the same sort of style throughout the whole accordion. <laughs> then in yellow, I'm obviously going to have the sun because, you know, the sun is kind of yellow. I don't want to start coloring. That way it'll all kind of dry consecutively. <laughs> For the sky, I'm going to try and mix green and blue, right, and then paint in the sky with that color. Probably make it get lighter at the bottom there. There we go, there's the sky. And for the grass, I'm gonna use this dark racing green, like shadows under the trees. I've decided the back the sky isn't green enough, so I'm gonna go over it with a light layer of the racing green. If I can blend this out to a more yellow green on this end, I think we'll be in good shape. Like this color. Ooh, it's pretty. Add some of the. Yeah, see, it's just so textured. I don't like it. Use the oil pastels. All right, moving on to the more greenish yellow place. I guess I'm gonna have to move the sun over here and move yellow down a smidge. Maybe the sun will be there. Let's stretch out even onto the next page here. That's the cool thing. You just keep unfolding for more paper. <laughs> Ooh, we can make that ray a little bit more obvious. Which would hopefully offer a sense of cohesion. 
somehow got green water in the tube. <laughs> I'm gonna put some trees in the background here, probably. That looks like a weird bumpy rock. <laughs> Color the yellow green now. Starting with the yellow and pulling away from the sun and then we'll blend into that lime green color. Kind of like that. Add a little shading there with the old green. Kiwi color. Okay, so that's the green, the light green, and now we're moving into the yellow. I think I just want to put a character in the foreground for yellow. Maybe holding a flower. I'll just draw that out. Some pigtails, maybe. And she can hold the flower. Alright, let's uh, ink that puppy. People who actually do like illustrations like this, <laughs> they have my full respect because I just don't have the patience <laughs> to do something this large. I can already feel myself being really lazy. <laughs> and there's like things that I probably wouldn't let slide if this, this was like a more centered drawing on this specific illustration. There we go. But this will be yellow on this half of her and orange on that end of her. <laughs> Use this went pencil. Then on this side there'll be that orange. Little overalls can be orange. That way you can see the difference. In the grass, but a bit yellower. Okay, next up is orange to red. I think it's time for another tree. <laughs> Maybe one that cuts off the top of the page. Like like that. Maybe someone's peeking around the edge. Maybe there's someone peeking around this side too. Let's try to draw a boy. And maybe curly girl. Maybe some birds in love. Literal love birds up here. Right, ink, 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 before my battery dies. All right, now it's time to color orange to red. Start with straight orange and color whatever I want to be the darkest, like the tree. Trunk a little lighter. But we can also add like a shadow underneath the leaves. Probably coloring this grass pretty dark orange. Redder for the shirt. Put it in the hair. Do I want to add little blushies? Do the same for her. Okay, now I need to transform that red to more of a blue color, so I guess it's probably gonna end up being purple. Ooh, yum. <laughs> like if I could eat a color, I'd want this one. I guess grape juice. I think I wanna go fully to blue somehow in these two pages. That's the goal at least. If I just make this right side of it blue, and the middle-ish purple. Oops, I just colored the beak blue. What was I thinking? I don't know why I can't seem to color inside the lines today. <laughs> My hand is just all over the place. This isn't the best paintbrush. This is the one that came with um, the December box. Color this mushroom bright red. Ooh, that's a really nice color too. It's a bit pinker than the other grape color. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is by no means professional. Alright, I 
gotta zoom out in time for the grand reveal. Are you ready? Are you ready? Pump, 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 pump. So we have our blue and a green and a yellow and a orange and a red and a blue. Boop, boop. This is by like no means a professional illustration. I think this brush is lacking something in the detail department. Or when I try to get certain strokes, I don't know, it just sort of flattens. Maybe that's my wrist. <laughs> but I'm gonna blame the brush. I really like the way it's a rainbow. So it starts at blue and kind of ends at blue. This side of the drawing is like all dark and dreary and this one's a lot brighter and happier. And then there's a little bit more serene. And I kind of like the way that flows. I think I got better at like fitting things and the composition on this side, whereas this side's a lot more opened and like empty. <laughs> And I kind of failed the palette full packs challenge for the month since I didn't really use these pastels at all. I did use these two a little bit. You'll see like there's some little like detailed things here and there where I used the watercolor pencils. But I used the watercolors of the same name as these pencils to do all the watercolor. And of course I used boop -boop 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 the sketchbook that came with this month's box, which I'm in love with. I love the way it opens up. I wish I had finished those last two pages, but <laughs> I keep looking back at this and seeing how just sort of noobish it looks and I don't know, I'm feeling the need to step away from this. I don't think I can make it look any better by adding the last two pages, <laughs> but there it is. Oh, and then there's also the other drawings that we made Oop, they're upside down. right there. So that's how we started with the sketchbook. But then if we flip it over, <laughs> we have my drawing. Isn't that pretty cool? I did my best to do a panoramic. Backgrounds and stuff are not my specialty. More um, character art is, so this is definitely outside of my comfort zone. And I just love the colors. They just make me happy. Oh, it's a rainbow, it's a rainbow. <laughs> this palette packs was sent to me for free to um, try out and share with you. If you're interested in getting your own subscription, I'll have a link in the description where you can check that out and see which tier is right for you. This again was the petite box. There's the premiere and then I think this young artist box is the third one. I'll have a link. You can check that out. But this is what I came up with for this month's box, even though I didn't use the supplies. But the sketchbook is what inspired me to do the rainbow panoramic thing. And if I hadn't had the sketchbook, I wouldn't have thought of that. And I wouldn't have grabbed my watercolors. But look how this is still wet, so I can't really try and dry that out a bit. But I love the size of this sketchbook and like how big you can draw when it's so small. I think they said it was four by six. And if you have like a little travel watercolor kit, look, this Derwent one is like the same size. You can just put it in a purse. This is so small. I love it. You don't have to have like a separate art bag. Yeah. I'm very impressed with this little sketchbook. And like, if I show you, I used a lot of water in some of those places and you know, there isn't any buckling. That's some real nice paper. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's the accordion. Brand is this? This is the Pentallic Watercolor Dreamcatcher Accordion Fold Artist Journal. That's a, that's a mouthful. <laughs> I really like this. This was definitely the star of the show. I love how you can like turn the pages and it's like a different little illustration. Oh, that is definitely my weakest with the watercolor, but my strongest with the layout. And then, oh, I like that one. And I like the perkiness of this green. Yeah. And then the empty page. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!